And these EcoFlow batteries, they're uh, EcoFlow Delta Twos. And they're being charged off of solar right now. I've got the uh, two Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panels for a total of 200. Um, sitting there, don't be fooled by that plant right there. They're, they're in full sunlight right now. And uh, I think the sun is out, but I'm getting, I'm only getting uh, 60, 59 watts of input here, 22, 14 up here. Um, I don't think the sun is really out fully. I think there's clouds in front of it. Yeah, there's clouds in front of the sun right now. But, uh, well, it takes more than a day with 200 watts of solar to charge the two EcoFlows here, the master uh, EcoFlow and then the, the uh, secondary um, one right there. I can run, I think I can run my refrigerator and my gas furnace off of these two for um, maybe 24 hours. Um, so, of course, if it takes more than 24 hours to charge, then I'm at a deficit for running those during a pot power outage. But um, but obviously now I, I tried to hook up uh, a third panel, but I got even worse uh, input than this. Um, like right now, you can see I'm getting 81 watts in here because the sun's shining a little brighter and 33 here. But, uh, but uh, when the sun is out fully, you know, look, I'm, oh, I'm up to 100. The sun's coming out, see, so I'm getting 145 here and like 60, and that's more like what I can see, right? I can get 200 watts coming in here. So, um, so that's great, right? Because now the sun is out, and now you can see I got the two solar panels, 200 watts, and I'm getting more than 200 watts of, of input sometimes. But when I hook up this third solar panel, it doesn't work. All right, so I never get, I never see more than like 50 watts, and there's something about the way that it's hooking up. I, this is the Harbor Freight, right? Uh, and the Harbor Freight has um, has uh, uh, this kind of a, an output. Um, I don't really have the ability to kind of do this without shaking up the camera, but um, but you can see like this is just your regular Harbor Freight output for solar. And the solar uh, connections that I have uh, to get into the back of the EcoFlow look like this. And on the other side, it looks like this. And uh, this is the positive. And the negative is uh, here. So when these, you know, so I can't, obviously I can't connect, you know, this to these. So I have to have some little ones like this, like this right here, a little one that converts this Harbor Freight connection to these. But another thing that's strange about this is when I'm looking at this solar panel, there's a, this solar panel comes with this, right? It comes like this and then this is the accessory. Well, these solar panels don't really work unless I put this on. So, so I have to put this on. I'm doing it right now. So I have to put this on. I don't know why, but the solar panels don't seem to charge the EcoFlows properly without that conversion right there. So then, from there, I then go, I then plug in the, the, uh, the, this additional connector. So my apologies, I'm gonna have to get all blurry again here for a second. And then now, when I connect, give me a second. Now that I've got that plugged in, and I got this, this is how I'm, I'm actually using it for those two out there. I run, I obviously run out of the back of the EcoFlow, right? And uh, I connect the the positive into this solar panel and then run the negative out into the positive of that solar panel. And then the negative comes back and the negative black line right here that you can see comes. And of course it's back into the EcoFlow. And that's, what's, that's the configuration that's working right now. 
that configuration is working. But if I take this third solar panel and I add it into the chain there, it does not work. It blocks me from even getting, you know, over like 50 watts. Like this will just go down right here to like 50 and that's all it gets. So it's like, there's something about the polarity or something about having three solar panels connected like that, that doesn't work. So I'm thinking about going to get a fourth one to see if that works. Um, like the polar, if it's polarity, like memory in a computer, maybe it has to have an even number of, um, you know, solar panels in order for the positive negative, like polarity thing to not get shifted or something. That's all I can think of. So if anybody knows, um, please do let me know. I would appreciate it. Thank you. And good day.